All right, we've moved on to 4.2 now. Okay. 4.2, we're still talking about exponents. Now, when I think back to a square root, what is a square root? Say I've got the square root of b. The square root means that you're just finding one number that when you multiply it by itself, you end up with this number, okay, b. So for example, the square root of 49 is 7, right? Well, close. 7 times 7 is 49. All right, is there another number, though? where you can also get 49? The answer is yes, a negative 7. Okay, so you can end up with a negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 7 is a 49. So I put this plus or minus here, meaning that there's two possible answers. One answer is that we're looking for a positive 7. The other answer is we're looking for a negative 7. So the square root of 36, again, a lot of us think, ah, it's 6. Well, it's not. It's plus or minus 6. Okay? Now your calculator is going to lie to you. You're going to plug in the square root of 36 in your calculator, and it's going to say 6 is the only answer. Okay? Well, we need to think about that and think, is there another possible answer that our calculator is not telling us? And the answer is usually yes.